traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the gold market, folks. Uh, this is a chart that goes back uh, quite a few weeks, as you can see here. We were waiting for this beautiful pattern completing here at 1955. Uh, that's where we bought it. It had a nice move up to 1965. So I put the stop at break even, thinking it would not go down there again. And by golly, it went down there and made a new low at 1952 and then went back to 1965. So the only way that I can handle that now is to wait a day. But that goes with my philosophy that, you know, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. So that's one of the reasons why I did that. Now, it's not going to go straight up from here. Well, it might, but I don't know. We've got the Fed tomorrow acting, so that'll be very interesting. But I wanted to uh, spend a moment here. By the way, our Jeff, I guess today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. But I wanted to go over a couple of trades that, that we've been looking at over the past few days. I'll bring this chart up here. This is the chart for October cattle. It, and this is a very, very heavily traded stock um, futures by the uh, commodity funds, folks. They're, this is one of the big ones that they trade, a huge volume. And as you can see here, I believe we can see it now. Uh, no, we can't. Just give me a second here, and I'll see what I did wrong on this. I don't know why it's not catching the first time here. There it is now. Now it says it's ready to go. Okay. All right, as you can see here, we had multiple ABCD patterns up here with the three drive to a top pattern, and now we've had the sell-off. Now, you'll notice that the sell-off now is equal to these other two sell-offs, this one and this one. Now, what we're going to do now, and this is, this is what we're going to be doing on August the 2nd, is reviewing how we set some of these trades up, and I'll show you one that we had today here. But as we look at the uh, cattle market getting in here and uh, – I believe, oh, why do you do this to me? I think this is, uh, no, that's not it. Oh, Larry, there it is right here. We've got it. There it is. Just a minute. There it is. Hold on one second. We'll get October cattle in the house here, and we'll be ready uh, to get this up here again. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the October cattle as, uh, they are, as where they were today. Now, we sent this chart out last night saying the cover your short positions down in this area right here where the 61% retracement comes in. You can see by the two, two um, uh, triangles there, the ones on the right, that that is a nice three drive to a bottom pattern. And that's the place to look to not only to cover your short, but to go long. And so far it's working. Your stop is right below that level. So you're only risking about 80 cents, which is about $400 in cattle. But on the downside, it made almost five cents on the downside, folks, and uh, that's a that's a really big return for only being in it for three days. So that's what we're paying attention to today in the cattle market. I bring this to your attention because this is the kind of thing we're going to be looking at on August the second when we do our live trading thing. We'll move down to a smaller time frame to see you know how these markets are operating because everything operates on ABCD, folks. It all starts with that. And I'll be spending a great deal of time proving to you why it is that way. Now, if you'll remember about, oh, my goodness, it's been a long time ago. I think about, it must have been a week or so ago, we were looking at the, uh, it was a week or so. Let's get this up here. We were looking at the price of the British pound that we felt because of the same thing. This could be cattle. They look, the charts are exactly the same. But as you see this. You can see the big ABCD pattern right up here. It's perfect ABCD. So you go short there at that area at 131, and you came down, and you want to be looking at around this level right here, which is the 382 off of this level right here. You see how this is equal to this, and this is a little bit more than this, but right on the FIB number. And not only that, 
with the number of days down in the move is also equal. So let's take a look at what happened with the British pound. Now, we, we sold that British pound three times, folks, on each of those three, eight, two retracements. Let's get it up here so we can take a look at it. And, uh, and basically, each one of those is like a separate trade. You know what I mean? That we, So you wouldn't have to... Uh, you know, follow all of them. You just follow the British pound if you wanted to. You notice here, you see how it's been going down. This is midway, folks. See, there was the first move down. There was your second move down, okay? And then today is where the market finally turned and started to go up. So we closed all those positions out, and now we're waiting to see how the market will react to the upside if it does. And remember, tomorrow is Fed Day, and believe me, <laughs> the currencies move a lot during Fed time. If they might collapse again, that I don't know. All I know, it's been a good trade. It's done everything we wanted it to do. And when you're looking at an hourly chart, that's where you want to take your profits on. And that's what you'll be looking at. Look at this beautiful three drive to a bottom here, folks. Drive one, drive two, drive three. That is a perfect ABCD right to the downside here. There's your 78% pullback. And then, of course, we got up to this level here just a little while ago. So it's done everything that it was supposed to do. And since we're looking at the British pound, when you're trading currencies, if you do it the way we do it 24 seven, you're not going to put multiple positions on. If you're trading the British pound from the short side, you should not trade the euro from the short side. The reason why you gotta pick one or the other, because if you don't, you're doubling your position. And that's what you try not to do. So let's just take a look here at what's happened to the euro in the past uh, two weeks. If you if you like to see uh, ABCD patterns, stay tuned. Yes, Johnny, I see your hand is up there. So just be patient. We'll get you in, involved here just a little bit, and we'll see where we are right here. Okay, now as you can see this, this is still coming down. Just like it's, look at these beautiful ABCDs all the way down, and today, there's your final ABCD coming in right at the exact bottom. And it was a 61% retracement of the low that we made way back here. So those are the things that you want to be watching. And when you're day trading, and I try to make my living doing that, that's what you're trying to do is you try to find those things that line up just absolutely perfectly for you. Now, they don't always do that. But when they do, and when they do, that's when you've got a chance you know, to see if the market is really going to uh, react in your favor, okay? So that's what we're paying attention to so far today. Let's move on to uh, one other one here. Uh, oh, we've got, a, we've got a break coming up here before we have uh, Jeff Huge, and I want to make sure I get, make sure the timing thing is working good. I got a whole minute left, so I wanted to bring up uh, one other one here that was, uh, uh, doggone it, just a second here. This is one that we uh, did last night. It's been working quite nicely. Uh, hold on. This is the December uh, soybean oil. Now, this is in the midst of a drought, folks. And uh, But this is what it. you can see here. We went up to the ABCD pattern right here, and it broke down. What did it do? It went right up to the 382 retracement intraday last night and then had a big break to the downside. It's up about $900 from where we originally sold it, and that puts us in a break-even situation or even locks in some profit. So we're going to take a little break here, and we get back. we got some more information, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So... 877-927-6648. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating investors. 
Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year d-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks. I po I'm having some trouble posting my charts. I don't know why it's uh, not working the way I wanted it to, but let's take a look here. This is the long-term chart of wheat, folks. Uh, so you'll see that big ABCD down at the downside there at $6 a uh, bushel. Uh, remember, wheat was uh, last May, wheat was trading for $13.50 per bushel. It had been limited up two or three days in a row, I believe. And now we come all the way down at $6 a bushel. Nobody wants it. Now it's rallied uh, almost uh, $2 a bushel, and everybody wants it. So that's the way it goes. You know, when these charts start to move, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. So pay close attention to that. Uh, in the midst of all of this, I posted that chart of the uh, December soybean oil just a few minutes ago. Uh, that is the same contract that I used to get my money back that I lost during the uh, 1974 uh, stock market crash because everything crashed during that time, all commodities, uh, everything was going down. And at that time in Los Angeles, engineers couldn't even get a job. They, there was a overall oversupply of engineers and they were working as shoe salesmen, uh, stockbrokers, any place they could get a job. And now, of course, they're in uh, really strong demand, but that's the name of the nature of supply and demand. Anyway, the reason why I try to bring these charts up, folks, I work on a system of AB equals CD. The problem is AB equals CD is only perfect about 40% of the time. The other part of the, of the CD leg, it's, which is the key, the CD leg is going to be either 786 of the AB leg or it could be 1.27, 1.618, or 2, or 3, or 5. It could be anything. How it comes out of that sea leg is what's important, and that's what we're going to be talking about on August the 2nd to show you. And we're going to show you examples of it where you have a really strong trending market, and you'll be able to uh, get onto that uh, and ride that horse for a little while. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today, but uh, my charts are having a hard time going through. So what I want to do is to give you a little bit of a, this, my experience with uh, Mark Douglas. Uh, we had that huge storm here uh, just a few weeks, uh, last a week ago, Monday. And when Mark moved here on August the 16th of uh, 1996, uh, we had the second largest uh, storm. The, the one we had the other day was the first largest. The tree in front of my house, a 60-foot pine tree, 
got hit by lightning, split in half, and half of it went into my house and did about $35,000 worth of damage. <laughs> and I took a couple of weeks off because of the fact that uh, everything was shut down. So I went to California to, to visit my daughter and had some fun and stuff. But uh, the reason why I bring this to your attention is during those four, let's see, five years, it was more than that, it was eight years. Uh, he, he, in 2004, he moved up to Scottsdale to get a lake up there on Lake Vista. He and Paula, and that's where they remain until he passed away on September the 27th, seven years ago. Uh, let's make that six years ago. Anyway, every day that he would come in, we would set together, and many times he would have guests coming in, some very famous guests. Uh, you know, I, I don't tell the names because, uh, you know, Mark said, you know, it's just our business and nobody should know who they are. Even though they were famous, they were really nice guys. I mean, there was only one person in that whole group that was a fruitcake, and he was one of the more successful ones. He was just very, very eccentric. But the, when he sat down and talked about these guys, there was one thing that all of them, all of these successful traders had in common. You know, have the fear of losing money, all that other stuff. It was fear of leaving money on the table. And boy, I tell you, when you listen to Mark give his lecture on that, and I'm going to repeat it because it's really simple. The only person that doesn't leave money on the table is the person that gets filled on the absolute high or the absolute low. And you know, that's not very many people. So get used to that when you're always going to leave money on the table. One of my favorite books is a book by Bernard Baruch, who was the uh, counselor to J.P. Morgan. Uh, he was one of the best investors of the uh, 19, 20, 30, and 40 era. And in his book, he writes, I make all of my money trading that 60% in the trend before the high and before the low. He said, that's all I'm interested in. I'm not trying to get the exact high. I'm not trying to get the exact low. I'm just trying to get a nice piece of the middle. And that's a way to look at it. That's what these That's what these patterns are for, because when they fail, they go on to the next level of what they're supposed to be hitting. So that's why, uh, you know, I try to teach these patterns and you can learn them. It just takes time to, to get it. One of the, the perks that you get for the coming in on August the uh, 2nd are these flashcards that our good friend Mr. BV down there in Texas made for me. And these are spectacular color cards that you can put on your desk and you can just match the card to the pattern. It shows you where you want to enter, what your stop should be and where your profit objective is. And it's got all 12 patterns lined up. Now, it's really six high, six uh, buy patterns and six sell patterns. Plus, there's one other pattern that we teach, which, of course, is the 382 pattern that is not included in that because you don't need that. You just need one simple one simple calculation for the 382, and that that's, uh, forces you to trade with the trend. And that's what we're, what we're looking at when we're trying to do that. The other part of when I worked with Mark is that each day we would trade together. He would be here at 6 o'clock. We, we had, he had an office in the other part of the house here, but he spent all of his time here at my office in, in the front of the house. And he went in the back of the house once in a while. But most of the time we would just sit here chatting and have guests coming in. Uh, other traders from the Tucson area, Bob Miner lived here at the time, Carolyn Broden lived here, uh, Scott Carney was here for a while. There were a lot of people that came in and out during that time. And so we would uh, chat with them and get ideas and we would have a little get together uh, one day a month on a Saturday afternoon, uh, Saturday morning, and we'd spend three hours sharing trading ideas. And we did that until everybody got all the information that they needed and then everybody stopped, stopped showing up because they knew as much as everybody else did. And so that was the end of that. So it was a good time, but uh, it ended when Mark moved up to uh, Scottsdale uh, in uh, 2004, and he lived there until uh, uh, 2016, I guess. Yep. Well, time goes so very fast. I have one quick story, and that is Tony Bennett passed away here um, this past week, and I have a Tony Bennett story. Uh, he used to eat at Pet Patsy's restaurant in New York because the Mater D was one of his very dear friends, and that Mater D happened to be a cousin of my friend. And we were there for for thank for uh, the three of us were there for uh, Valentine's Day. I think it was 2005 or 2006. The place was packed, and Vinny said, "Hey, we're going to have to share a table with one of, one of my buddies." I said, "Because it's so crowded, we just don't have any room." And it was Tony Bennett. 
And he's a very small guy, but just as personable and wonderful human being as you ever want to meet. And there was a lady having not only a Valentine's Day party, but her birthday party. And when he was finished having dinner with us, he went over to the table and sang happy birthday to her. And there were about 14 tables in this small Italian restaurant. And it was a raucous. I mean, everybody just gave him a standing ovation. He was really a stand-up guy. And I led a great life and will be missed, but uh, he's in good hands now. And just like David Paul will be very soon, folks, he is really, really sick. If he lasts to the end of the week, I will be surprised because he is sick. Next up is Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Stay tuned. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line today. Jeff, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Larry. Great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's great to have you. We're going to be talking about bullish sentiment as a very high extreme, and I can see by this chart, it's got uh, it's up there with a lot of other relatives where we've had before. So, what do you think is going to happen from here? Well, you know, it's anybody's guess, right? You know, uh, I've been wrong <laughs> for the last three months uh, calling for a market top, but um, things just keep moving in the direction of more and more extreme. 
and at some point uh, we would expect things to break to the uh, to the downside. We just look at the name exposure index. This is the National Association of Active Investment Managers. They've got a you know a cohort of professional investors that respond to their survey every two weeks, and they haven't been this bullish since the Nasdaq topped in November of 2021. They are now at 99.05 percent invested. That is basically fully invested. And uh, it doesn't really get much more than that. Occasionally, they've been leveraged a few times in the last 10 years, but that's extremely rare. Um, The American Association of Individual Investors, Larry, this group has become as 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 bullish as they were when the ARC fund, Kathy Wood's ARC fund, hit its all time record high in February of 2021, when the whole disruptive technology and EV craze was at its you know peak boil, uh, they are now at 29.9 percent uh, bull bear spread. This is when you take the bulls, which are 51.4 percent of the survey respondents, and subtract the bears, which are 21.5 percent. We're 29.9. Normally at 30. That is considered to be a turning point for the market. So we're just there right now. And the simple fact that we are now as bullish as we've been since things were crazy back in February of 2021 uh, leads us to believe that things are extremely close to a turning point now. I think this is the 12th day in a row where the Dow Jones has been higher. I I don't think I've seen that. It'll be 13th. Oh, wow. Wow. (laughs) <laughs> I guess it'll be the 14th tomorrow then. Let's take a look at this. A couple of these are really interesting to me. And this next one is about momentum and uh, how it's uh, diverging. So let me get this up here and uh, we'll try to uh, let the folks see what we're looking at here. So this is about momentum. Well, Tell Larry, the folks. As you what- know, you know, momentum is one of the confirming factors. Uh, in the market for price. When price breaks out the new highs, you're going to see it attended by equally strong momentum. And when we see momentum diverge from price, where price makes a a new high and momentum fails to confirm that by making a new high, in other words, makes a lower high, we call that a negative divergence. And as you can see from this chart, negative divergences in momentum have attended every single reversal in trend going back to September of 2021, and and much further than that, we're just showing it back to September 2021. And the point here is that we're looking at a, a, the magnitude of this this divergence is substantial. Uh, We're actually seeing a double or triple divergence, however you want to look at it, uh, whereby if today or later this week we make a new high, it looks like momentum is going to fail to confirm that high as well. So that will give us a triple momentum divergence, uh, which is in and of itself a very uh, compelling reason to uh, avoid being long equities here. Okay, let's get the next one up here so the folks can take a look at it. Do you do these all these charts yourself, Jeff? Are these all your... Uh... Most of them I do, but this particular one on uh, the seasonality of volatility, I'm borrowing from a good friend of mine down in New Zealand, uh, a guy by the name of Callum Thomas, who runs a firm called Top Down Charts. He does fantastic work. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, on the global macro perspective, he does a lot of global stuff. And so... Uh, you know, he's a friend of mine. We share our research sometimes, and he's kind enough to lend this chart to us. And what we're really looking at here, uh, Larry, is is the seasonality of volatility. And VIX is really the way that we can visualize volatility in a mm-hmm. stock chart, for example. Um, today, the VIX is the red line. If we look at the dark gray line, that's the typical seasonality going back to 1990, which was when the VIX was created. And so when we take a look at how VIX tends to move within the year. It tends to bottom in mid-August and rally and peak in mid-October. And so, you know, seasonally, VIX is poised for a significant move higher. And as you know, volatility tends to, uh, you know, be it tends to occur concomitant with a decline in equity prices. And so we're looking for, you know, a high probability reversal in the uptrend in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ uh, with volatility spiking uh, accordingly. And that's all lining up in terms of the seasonality. It's the same for stocks. In fact, we're not showing the chart this week, but uh, in the past we've published the 
uh, the cycle composite for the S&P 500, which takes three cycles. It actually looks at, you know, the four-year presidential cycle, the 10-year decennial cycle, as well as the one-year seasonal cycle. And that mm-hmm. composite cycle uh, uh, is slated to top this month. Actually, it topped on the 17th of July, and it's slated to move down into late November. November 25th is when it's expected to bottom. So we're looking for... Uh, momentum of the market to reverse to the downside here as a result of the seasonality and cycle effect. Okay, well, I'll tell you about the, uh, you know, how the people are getting involved in the stocks. I play poker uh, on the weekends. You know, we have a little poker tournament at the casino here, and they buy in for 70 bucks. We usually have 40 players, and you move around from table to table. And each table that I played at, they were talking about the stock market. I hadn't seen that since the dot-com bubble. A little bit during the Bitcoin stuff, but uh, they were actually talking about their stocks, Meta, you know, Meta, and uh, what was the other one that was really big? Microsoft. Those were the ones that they were heavily involved in, and they knew everything about it. I mean, I was listening to them, you know. So I, they don't even know what I do. So I just giving a feedback that boy, they're, they're, the public is back here somewhere, at least here in Tucson. <laughs> Okay, so let's no get up. No about it, Larry. Yeah. I was at the yeah. airport and I got my shoes shined uh, not long ago, and I ran through the exact same uh, situation where the shoe yeah. shine guy started asking me about the stock market because I oh had my goodness, yeah, on my hands, and started <laughs> you know basically telling me everything he knew about the AI revolution. Yeah, well. I saw some stuff on AI over the weekend that just scared me. Uh, a picture of Nicole Kidman, and they made her into a uh, an avatar, and I could not tell her from the real the, uh, Nicole Kidman, and it wasn't her because she was she was talking uh, very very dirty, if you know what I mean. I mean it was it was really no, I I, I was shocked. I said, oh my God, this is going to change. I can see why these people in in Hollywood are complaining, and you know, because this is uh, it, it's just amazing. It was a an avatar of Nicole Kidman, perfect in every sense of the word, and uh, they told me that you could buy one of these things for a thousand dollars and build it any way you wanted to, and I and I I just I said, oh my God, what is happening to the world? I mean. I used to think playing with a wooden truck was fun, but my goodness, this is getting ridiculous. Hey, we got to pay a couple of bills here, I think. Otherwise, Mr. O'Brien's going to get act uh, mad at us. Will you stay with us for the second segment? You betcha. Jeff Huge, Alpha Inside, folks. We'll be insights. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're talking with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and we have a caller from Iowa. Keith, are you there? I am, Larry. How are you? I am good. Well, we have a stock man on the line, and Jeff Huser could tell us about Tesla. What do you think uh, here with Tesla, Jeff? <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I, I'm not uh, an advocate, let's put it that way. Um, it's not a stock that I am involved in at this time. I would, you know, not advise being involved in it here. Uh, I think the valuation is utterly ridiculous. And, um, you know, I, I think that it's an overhyped story and it's run right into a descending trend line and reverse to the downside. I would be looking for the stock to break back below its 10-week moving average and 89-week moving average, which converge kind of right around that 250, 247 range. And if we broke below that level, I would expect the stock to trade back down to around 190 to 200. Um, however, if it did make a new recovery high above, say, that 300 level, uh, we could get another push higher. But that's about all I can say about Tesla. Does that help, Keith? Yeah, it does. i uh, kind of on the same line. I, I wanted to ask you if I just got lucky or if I was uh, – Smart. I did buy some puts back uh, last week before the break, mm -hmm. and uh, I, the, my reasoning being was we were coming off a 2.618 of um, uh, going all the way back to uh, March, mm -hmm. and then uh, it looked like there was a three drive uh, yes, there was. Uh, pattern there on yep. the 21st of June to just last week and I, I wanted to get your opinion if I was on the right page or if I just got lucky no no luck well, is where no, prep, put luck is where I'll put it to you this way Keith the the more active I am in the market the luckier I get just manage your risk <laughs> that's sure, right sure luck is okay. where preparation meets opportunity my friend that's right thank you so much you bet Keith. thanks for calling it Jeff would you continue here with the cycle degrees of the Elliott wave please Absolutely. So as you know, you know, the, the rally through that um, August 16th high has been of a magnitude where we absolutely have to consider the possibility that the bear case is wrong and that the stock market is actually in a new bull market. We, we don't favor that conclusion. That's a lower probability outcome. Um, but we put out uh, both a preferred count, which is the bearish version of our count, and an alternate bullish count. Now, let me put it to you this way. Um, we've reached a level where I believe we've we've traced out a second wave of a five wave decline so far. And that second wave is probably mature and about to roll over. But it's possible that is just the end of a third wave within um, a, a more bullish trajectory higher. And so what we're looking for here is a pullback to about forty three hundred, a break below that forty three hundred level would confirm that we are definitely in wave three down and that this is a bearish uh, version of the count. 
Um, if we were to pull back and hold above 4328 definitively and start to move higher, then I would suggest that the bull count is probably active and we'd switch. But at this point, our work favors the bearish count until uh, that were to occur. Okay, now the next chart is what they call the primary uh, Elliott wave thing. Now, how is that different different from the one that you just showed us, uh, Jeff? Yeah, what, we're what just showing a shorter period of time, Larry. So this is, we're blowing okay. up the period from March 29th of last year to present. Mm -hmm. And you can see this is kind of like a, a rounded base formation or, you know, people would draw trend lines and say this might be a inverted head and shoulders or cup and handle or whatever, you know. Uh, pattern you think you're seeing. But the thing that we're seeing is that we've got a very choppy overlapping advance off of a deep oversold low on October 13th. And that advance has left multiple gaps, those gaps, uh, at least a half a dozen gaps. And those gaps are likely to be filled at some point. Uh, it's very rare. In fact, there's very few examples of unfilled chart gaps in the historical record prior to March 2020. Uh, that March 2020 low is really the oldest significant gap, and I still think that will be filled. But, you know, we're looking at um, the possibility that we could get one slight new high here uh, off of that, that minor or minute degree fourth wave, which uh, dates, you know, late June. Mm -hmm. uh, we count five waves in progress, one, two, three, four, and we haven't quite finished the fifth wave. If we make a slight new high above the July 19th high, that will complete the uh, fifth wave of a fifth wave of wave C of wave Y of wave two. And that completes the entirety of that second wave advance. Now, where will it stop? No one really knows. But I can tell you this. We're through the 786 retracement right now, which was 45.34. The 88.6% retracement, which is the square root, of 786, uh, that comes in at 46.67. So it's possible we could get up to that level. And, and if we did, we'd be hard pressed to see the market moving beyond it. Okay, let's take a look uh, at your newsletter that you have. I, I think this is really a, the best value you can find on the street if you want to look at something that uh, gives you some great information. And you've got a fabulous yeah, track you know, record that we've goes We've been publishing along with this for almost two years. In fact, uh, the next issue, the August issue, which comes out August 5th, will be our two-year anniversary issue. We're going to do something really special for that. Uh, but I want to just say that if you like our work, uh, this is just a, a very, very small sampling of what you would expect to see in the newsletter. Newsletter typically features about 25 to 30 charts, tends to be about a 20-page document. Uh, we go through the big picture macro view of the economy and the market. We talk about, um, you know, outside issues like geopolitics and how it could affect the market. Uh, we talk about uh, our analysis of the markets. We talk about our current positioning and recommendations of individual stocks. And for those who uh, become upgrade to paid members, uh, not only do you get the full newsletter, but we also send out uh, weekly uh, notes. You get our um, Idea Generator Lab publication, which comes out every Wednesday. And that up updates our market view as well as provides you with our top actionable trade idea of the week. And we're actually... Um, expanding that to include some uh, additional sector work that we do every week for our institutional customers. Uh, it's typically an institutional publication. And then you also get access to uh, some video content every quarter and special notes that we put out. So, you know, upgrading to paid is, is a pretty good value for 12 bucks a month. Uh, we would highly recommend giving it a try. I mean, uh, you know, what do you got to lose? 12 bucks, right? Um, yeah, you know, we've made our clients, uh, uh, pretty, pretty wealthy over the years, and we've been doing this for over 30 years. So um, I don't think we'd still be doing it if we weren't good at it. Now you definitely, your first class act. I've, you know, I see a lot of people, and you've got some great stuff. What does geopolitically looks uh, like in the, the what's going on? Is it pol political related, or is it war related? What What is the main uh, it's more, the main it's theme? More on the um, geopolitical conflicts around the world. Uh, we we do a deep dive look at the Ukraine and what's happening over there, as well as what's going on in the South Pacific, which is our primary focus right now. We do believe that there is a pretty strong probability uh, that China will invade or at least blockade Taiwan sometime in the next six to 12 months. I think uh, this wow. has become 
Um, we've been writing about it for a year, and it's starting to become more of a mainstream view amongst uh, big picture global strategists. And uh, that, to me, is the center of the chessboard for the world economy is Taiwan, because that's where 70 percent of the world's uh, production capacity of semiconductors. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. We'll have you on again soon. Be safe, my friend. Always a pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, one of the best-run banks in the world. And as you can see here, it is a major 7-8% retracement, ABCD. Folks, I went through all 30 Dow stocks, and I was amazed to realize that General Electric is trading for 114. They don't put a little asterisk there saying that it had a 10 to 1 or whatever that reverse split was. But uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but the thing is that uh, I could not find a, a bullish sign. I mean, everything that I looked at was a pattern completion or in a sell mode. Every single of the Dow 30 stocks with the, uh, the, the Magnificent 7, some of those are still very, very strong. NVIDIA uh, up a, another 10, 11 points today. Uh, we got earnings coming out today for Microsoft and I believe Meta or Facebook, whatever it's called these days. So all of those things will be uh, looking. At, how can it not be showing? I just posted it. I don't know why it cannot be. Well, I don't know what to do now, so I'll try it again. Let's see. Maybe this doesn't go if I put it into this format. I, I don't know why that's not working out, but let me try it again. You'll see here. Maybe that's why there was no... Uh, 
Uh, is it showing now by any chance? That's that's wherein lies the problem with the static. Ah, it is showing. Okay, great. You can see it right here. It's right at this 78% uh, level. It's been here for, for several days. So, yeah, that had, well, the static must have been fixed. So that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to have as our guest tomorrow will be Paula Webb. And, of course, we have the Federal Reserve working tomorrow. They'll be out at around 2 o'clock, 2.15. And, of course, that's going to bring a lot of volatility. It's like it doesn't need any more. We're 13 days up in the Dow. Maybe it'll go for 19 days. I don't know what the big longest record is for 19 consecutive up days. I, I don't know the answer to that. So, anyway, that's what I'm seeing here. I see just a lot of sell patterns, but no buy patterns. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <music> 